Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on excision biopsy. Excision biopsy is a routine procedure done. It is used to remove a superficial lesion, be it a lymph node, breast lump, lipoma, sebaceous cyst, or any lesion accessible for removal. The indications for this procedure is for histopathological purpose and cosmesis, whereas the contraindications are lymph nodes where malignant melanoma is suspected. For the procedure, for site preparation, any common skin antiseptic, such as isopropyl alcohol, povidone iodine, or chlorhexidine gluconate, can be used to prepare the biopsy site. Mark the intended lesion with a surgical marker, since it may be temporarily obliterated following injection of anesthetic. Marking the outlines for excision biopsy can be helpful. A fenestrated surgical drape is placed over the biopsy site. After the area is cleansed and anesthetized, Round wounds tend to be pulled open in the direction of skin tension lines, which are called Langer's lines, that generally parallel the direction of collagen in the dermis. Surgical incisions placed parallel to tension lines will close more easily and cosmetically than those placed at right angles. Next, let us take a look at the picture showing the Langer's lines. They are topological lines drawn on a map of the human body. They are parallel to the natural orientation of collagen fibers in the dermis as well as the underlying muscle fibers. To continue with the procedure, anesthesia, the most commonly used local anesthetic, is 1 or 2 percent lidocaine. The combination of lidocaine and epinephrine has several advantages. Over lidocaine alone, such as blood vessel constriction, decreased bleeding, prolonged anesthesia, and reduced lidocaine toxicity. Also, use of epinephrine should be avoided in areas involving the digits nose, or ears, as vasoconstriction may cause ischemic necrosis. To minimize the sting of injection, we can mix 1 ml of sodium bicarbonate 1 MEQ per ml with 9 ml of lidocaine, use a 30-gauge needle, and make the initial injection perpendicular to the skin. Deep injections sting less than superficial injections, but prolong the time to adequate anesthesia. Small syringes like 1 in 3 C-Century will permit easier injections and are less cumbersome to handle. There are some complications to this procedure, like bleeding, where compression is usually adequate. If required, then underrunning or tying of blood vessel is done. Infection can also occur, but it is uncommon. If it occurs, it may require opening of the wound to drain if pus is present, then covered with oral antibiotics or topical ointment. Wound dehiscence is another infrequent complication. It can occur when the wound is infected or when there is significant skin movement such as biopsies over a joint. Scarring, hypertrophied scar and keloids may occur as part of the normal healing process. That's all for this video. Thank you.